My name is Samantha McCullough, and today we're going to discuss instrument mallet care, specifically on the xylophone, marimba, and the vibraphone. So first is our xylophone. Our xylophone has smaller bars than the marimba and is made out of either synthetic wood or natural wood. For our xylophone, we want to make sure that it is in our good height adjustment. So to do that, I say we should put it around our belt level. So this is about the height that it would be on me. If for some reason you would need to adjust a xylophone, you will need at least two people, if not more, and you're gonna wanna go to each side, have one person on each side, and you'll want to adjust by twisting these caps here and moving up and down with what you need. Same with the other side until it is level. We always wanna make sure that the xylophone is 100% level with what we're playing. Next, this is not a table. It's not a cart. We don't want to set anything on, on the xylophone ever. Not anything, not even if it's other percussion equipment. We don't want to set our cymbals on top of here. We don't want to send our maracas on here. We don't want to put anything onto the xylophone. It is not a cart. If we have to move this somewhere, we don't want to put anything on this to move it either. And when we are not using the xylophone, either in the band room or the orchestra room or in a practice room, we always want to put a cover on it. The cover will go on all the way over the whole bar and you want to make sure it stays that way and then you don't ever put anything on top of the cover either because it is still not a table. And we always want to cover it and if for some reason the xylophone would get wet, you want to dry it off immediately because it will ruin the bars and we don't want that. So you'll need to get a towel and you'll need to dry it until it is super dry. In order to clean the xylophone, there's two options. If you are cleaning with something with synthetic bars, you'll want to use a mild glass cleaner or a disinfectant, but you will never want to use harsh chemicals such as bleach. If it has bleach, it cannot be used on any of the mallet equipment. Make sure once you do start cleaning it, it gets completely dry before putting a cover back on top. As far as our mallet care for the xylophone, um, I typically say to put them in a bag or put them in a Ziploc, um, but then you always want to make sure that they go into a mallet bag of some sort. Either a case or a mallet bag, they always go inside. You never want to use these on the floor, you never want to play with these on any other percussion equipment unless it says, fo unless it says so, these are for the xylophone. So we don't want to play these on the floor, and non-percussionists should never be playing on the xylophone. Next we're going to move over to the marimba. This is our marimba, and again, it has larger bars than the xylophone and it is made of wood. Just like the xylophone, we'll want to first start off with adjusting the marimba. So to adjust the marimba, you will need, again, two or more people and go to each end. Some marimbas have a crank down lever that you will simply just crank and it'll lower or raise the marimba as needed. Some are just like the xylophone and you'll need two people to unscrew each side and raise and lower as needed. But again, it needs to be 100% level and around at your belt level. As far as the marimba, again, it's not a table. We don't want to set anything on it unless it is us playing with our mallets. We don't set other percussion equipment on here. We don't use it as a rolling cart or anything like that. To move the marimba, we never want to move it from the front or the back. We always want to either push or pull from the sides, either side. And we typically want to have a buddy on both sides so that you don't crash into anything and you don't jam the bars through the door. If a marimba does not fit through the door, you don't want to shove it through the door. You can simply take the bars and move them up to help guide the instrument through the door. We never want to cram, it'll ruin the bars. If your marimba needs cleaned. There are two options, just like the xylophone, to clean them. If your marimba is made of natural wood, you can use a high-grade wood cleaner. You will just spray it on, just like the xylophone, wipe it off until it is 100% dry before putting the cover back on. If it is made out of synthetic woods, you'll want to use a disinfectant or a glass cleaner. Again, put it on, wipe it off completely, and put the cover on. You don't want to use any bleach or harsh chemicals on the marimba. Once you are done, you will want to put the cover on. Cover always stays on the marimba. And again, you never put anything onto 
the cover, even though there's a cover on the marimba. As far as our mallet care for our marimba, we will want to put our sticks into baggies or some sort of protector because again, they are felt or yarn and we don't want that to become a problem or get ruined. So you'll take your mallets here and you'll want to put them once you're done into a nice plastic baggie, snack size, you can get them at the dollar store. You'll put them into the baggie and you will twist a few times until they are each in a little spot and your mallets will be perfectly protected. Once you are done and you have all your mallets, you want to put them into a stick bag or into a case of some sort. You don't just want to carry these around, they will get ruined. Again, you never use these on the floor, you never use these on any other equipment other than the marimba unless your music says so. Next, we're gonna be talking about the vibraphone. The vibraphone is a unique instrument in the fact that it has metal bars and a pedal. First, just like our other mallet instruments, we'll want to adjust it accordingly. Some vibes have a crank that you can crank down, like this one, and you want to crank it either up or down how you see it needs to be adjusted for you. Other times, again, you will need a buddy, two or more people on each side to lower and raise it with the screws. Once it is at the level that you need it and you feel comfortable with, which is about belt level, you will be able to play. As far as keeping this instrument when it's not in use. Again, you'll always want to have a cover on it and the pedal will need to be stored up. We never want to leave the pedal dragging on the ground. This goes for when we are moving it. We always want to put the pedal up and when it's in storage, we always want to put the pedal up. So to do that, you want to come down here to the little adjuster and you'll want to unscrew and lift the pedal so that it comes up and then re-tighten and now it's ready to go. It's completely off the floor. And this goes for when removing it and when we're in storage. Now, since the, the vibraphone is metal bars, we will want to clean it. And for this, you should use a disinfectant wipe of some sort or disinfectant spray, and you'll want to completely dry it or they will become rusty and we don't want that. Once they are completely dry with your disinfectant spray or anything, you want to put a cover on it. And again, like all of the percussion equipment, this is not a table. We want to never put anything on it. We never want to put any weight on it. We don't want to lean on it. So we'll put our cover on it and nothing can go on the cover. And then it is perfectly safe that way and nothing gets broken when it is covered. Thank you.